Okay, welcome back, uh, Albert. Again, um, we're gonna we're gonna complete the installation of the Semol Device Manager cluster. Um, we gonna um, this video we're gonna finish up the second node. Um, all right, so we're gonna run the installation similar to what we did earlier. Go through the same process. We uncheck database because we're gonna use again the external SQL database that we previously connected to. And then add the license. We're using the same license we did before. Okay, select the license, open. Okay, we're gonna select the database, set up the credential, we're using um, the SQL, like I mentioned. Okay. We are um, going to go into the first node now and we're going to copy um, the, the four certificates in the file, PKI, CA root. PRT.pem coming down to the Tomcat and to some mobile device manager. We're going to open the Tomcat folder. We're going to copy that into the conf directory. We're going to paste that. What we're doing here is we're bringing the certificate from the previous CA. That way we can utilize the same information on this one. There is a cluster we wanted to make sure this uses the same certificate as NCA. Uh, independent which server we connect them to. Okay, once we do that, I'm going to continue with the installation. I'm going to change on the dri driver, we're going to uh, use the SQL. I'll we'll change that now, let's just change this to SQL. We're going to use the domain authentication, Windows authentication, and uh, set up our domain. And we're going to put our SQL server database IP address. Put my password using the uh, Windows authentication, so I'm just going to put my domain username and password, check connection, see the radio database there, continue the installation. We're going to use the same password we used on the first uh, server for node number one, we're going to use the same password. Next, password again. Okay, we're gonna put um, now. We're gonna upload the APNS certificate. Put in the password first, and look for the. APNS. We're using the same APNS certificate we used before, so it could be reused in the different nodes because it's a cluster. So we're using the same, all the same information. Okay, 
find that on the certificate. I just have to share that I, that I have all my files. Just select it. Continue installation. Next, next again. You see, all the account is already populated, and we're going to complete the installation. Finished. Now we're going to go into the config files. We want to make some changes, like we same way we did previously on the first node of the cluster. Right. We'll stop the services. In time you're going to make a change on the EW properties config file or any uh, modify any file, you just need to stop the services. Um, the services are not showing here. Uh, hold on. I need to just close and refresh. Yeah. We'll refresh. We could just always go into the start menu. There's a quick um, shortcut to the CDM, Simple Device Manager. So you could just stop in here. <coughs> so we're going to go back now to what we did previously. We're going to go to eDocs so we can get uh, the strings of those um, different files we need to, I mean, um, different strings we need to add to the config file. So we're just going on to the server.xml file right now. Um, we're gonna look for the, the line that says default host. We just control F and look for it, default host. You start, hit enter a couple times. Right after the bracket, you just make some space. You're gonna go down to edocs. The first document says configure device manager Tomcat cluster. We're gonna copy all this all the way to what it says cluster. Copy that. <coughs> We're gonna paste it. Then save the file. There's no need to make a change any changes or anything into the font of oh, this old slide. Yes, save it. Now we're gonna Go into the Tomcat folder. We go into web apps, CDM, web INF, classes, and we're going to look for EW, it's config properties file. And we can just do a control F, look for clustering. Is true. I close to one and uh, gonna copy this additional string here. Copy that paste it right after the, the clustering enabled true. Now scroll down to all the way down to one before last section labeled as other properties. So you're gonna see the last entry says false. So right after false, yep, just hit enter a couple times. And we're gonna go back and copy I'm going to go ahead and copy the every one strings into that. Copy that and we're going to paste it right after false. Save it. <coughs> one more thing we got to do, we got to go to the OS cache. 
file and we're going to make some changes. What we're doing here, we're actually changing the multicast IP to match what we did uh, initially set up by default. This could be modified if you need to change that to a different IP. Um, depends on you know what the configuration and the environment is. Um, make sure you allow multicast traffic for this version. This is actually this is changing soon. We're gonna uh, be able to not not having the need of using multicast for more scalability and performance. But right now, this is um, you need to make sure that the multicast is enabled. You can use that. Just want to make sure. Let me go into the other server on the previous node. Um, I believe I might have a typo, so let me just correct. Just double check that the, the entry after cluster enable is true because I believe I might have typo, a finger or something there. Yeah, I did. So let's change this. <coughs> it is out of here, and I'm just going to paste back get the cluster that I need there. I shouldn't have to do this, I just uh, um, I notice now that the discrepancy on the, the config file. So I'm just going to copy the closer the hibernate cache prop provider that so this string over here. I'm going to copy it. This is I'm back on the first node, so I'm just making some changes. Make sure it works successful. Okay save it so we're going to now start services on both of the nodes you always want to go into the primary first so the one you initially configured start the services on this guy and then you go into the other one again like i said we can start it just from the the shortcut menu here. Right, so they both started. Um, there's, there's a quick test we can run. We can just log into the console. So from the browser, just log in and uh, you can go to localhost slash CDM. Once you log in, authenticate. Uh, what we want to do is after CDM, we're going to go ahead and add uh, helper.jsp. You see here. Uh, and, and you're going to see on the left hand side is a cluster info tab. You can just click on that, and there it is. You can see both of your nodes, so your cluster is completed and it's working. Um, hope this is helpful. Uh, again, my name is Albert Albert with Citrix Systems, a uh, tech specialist for America's Readiness, and um, uh, I hope this helps. Thank you. Uh,